Nancy today. Well, I'm sitting here with the kiln, and we had a problem. This little kiln setter, sitter, this little piece of metal here was too short. So this was not staying up holding this in place. And I discovered this little screw today. And so I sprayed it with some, I tried to use this. And then I sprayed it with a little WD-40 so it didn't get on the kiln at all. And that didn't work. And I think that this was too small. So I, I used this with it. And then I found that it just turned this whole silver part. So I used my drill, my, um, uh, my grinder, and I ground down the end of this. And then it fit perfectly here. It was the right width and the right thickness. And I did it. I was able to undo this screw and thereby lift this little piece of metal here. And, and I held it under behind this thing, which is already, the kiln is on. And the kiln sitter has a cone in there. And when this comes up, this will fall down, and this bump here will push into a hole which will turn off the kiln. This is the button there you push to turn the kiln on. And I was able to pull this up and then tighten the screw. So now, perhaps the kiln sitter will tell me when the kiln is at the right temperature. We had some very um, wet, well not really wet, but very damp, um, shelves yesterday in there and so we ran it for or Joanne told me I ran it for four hours with it propped open just a little bit on a piece of broken shelf this I put that in there and I propped it up for four hours to dry everything out make sure all the dampness would come out of all the shelves and keep things from breaking and then, and it was on low, and then, so that was 7 o'clock, 8, 9, 10, so 11, then I turned it to medium, and at 1 o'clock I turned it, no, sorry, 4 hours on low open, and then I closed it, and so at 1 o'clock it had been open for 4 hours, closed for 2 hours, all on low. Then I turned it to medium and left it on medium for two hours until three. And then I got home at three and I turned it to high. And I've been watching the kiln. There's a little hole in the side of here, somewhere, right here. And if you look in there, you can see there's a little cone that's like this and it's supposed to curl over. But I'm not sure how much of it will curl over. I can see about that much of it in the hole. And if the end is all that curls over, I hope I'll be able to tell. So I certainly don't want to cook it too long again like I did the last one. But this kiln sitter, this should also, I have an 06 um, little piece in there. And this one over here is 05, so this should go off first. And if this goes off first, then that one will be about ready to go off next. Then I'll be done. So then I guess I'll just turn the kiln off and let it sit here overnight. And then tomorrow I'll open it and see how my things looked. Look, I hope I did a good job on them. Oh well, I've been working at it. So this is my little update on the kiln, part three. I guess I'll put all these three together and make one little video out of it. See you later. Bye.